Good morning everyone and welcome to Highway Academy. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a productivity tip that I've been using since the release of Windows 11. Now Windows 11 is going to be released tomorrow. So there are some new things I've done to Windows 11, but I'm going to just share what I think is the most valuable in terms of productivity. So if you're someone who loves saving time and trying to do things in a much better and smarter way, there's something in Windows 11 called focus sessions. If you have used anything to do with the Pondomoro techniques or any of the techniques where you work for a period of 30 minutes, then maybe rest for a period of five minutes, then come back and work for 30 minutes. They have made that automated in Windows 11. So let's give an example. You have a project to finish. Let's say I produce a plan and profile in Civil 3D and you want to really focus and zone in. So to get focus sessions is you have to go to the store. So we're going to type in the store. Okay, so the Microsoft store and then what you're going to do is you're going to look for the clock app. Okay. Uh, there's the Microsoft clock app and in case you can't find it, what you're going to do is you can click library and then you can click something called get updates. Okay. So when you click get updates, it's going to look for a number of apps that you've installed and all you have to do is just look for the clock app among this and it should say something along the lines of update or open okay so for my case i've already done that okay so i'm going to just reset the clock up in my settings because i had already configured it okay and um, so it's got settings let's look for the clock up Okay, we're going settings. So here I'm going to look for the clock app and I'm going to just reset it. Okay. So here it is. And you're going to click something called advanced options. And you're going to look for something called reset. Okay. Reset. We're resetting it back to zero. Okay. Now, most of the people have not had this function rollout. So what you have to do is you have to put, like you have to turn on a VPN, like for another country because the function is rolling out in different regions separately. So just make sure you turn on your VPN after you have reset the app in case you don't find something called focus sessions. Okay. Okay. So once you have turned on the VPN, um, you're going to now open up the clock app. Okay. So when you click clock, okay. So you click the clock up, it's going to load up with everything. Okay. With this, so you're going to have focus sessions, timer, the store porch, and the world clock. So the world clock shows a number of things. You can have different countries here. These have been in Windows 10, but there's something called focus sessions. So it's so when you open it up for the first time, it's going to have a welcome screen showing you get started and then a sign in. So you need to sign in with your Microsoft account. That's the first important step. So you can click get started and what's going to do is there are going to be four windows. There's going to be a window for ready, set, focus. There's going to be a daily progress window. Then there's going to be a Spotify window. Okay. And then there's going to be a to-do list window. Now to have the to-do list here, we're going to just sign in. Okay. So I'm going to sign in with my, our Microsoft account. And what's going to do is uh, it's going to load up my Microsoft to-do list. So there's a list you need to configure that this is going to really uh, uh, work. So what we're going to do is we're going to determine the task list that we need. So I'm going to open up Microsoft to do and I create a new task list. Okay. Uh, Microsoft to do. So I'm going to create a new task list. I'm going to name the task list um, Highway Academy. Okay. Um, H E. Okay, so I'm going to meet Hawa Academy. Okay, make sure you name the task list earlier on. So I'm going to say um, prepare drawings. Okay, I think I misspelled. I misspelled this. Prepare drawings. Okay, 
So now add the task. So I hit enter to add the task. Okay. So now I'm going to go back and maybe just sign out of this. Um, sign out. Okay. Sign in back again so that it can pick up the list. Uh, click OK. Click continue. It's going to load up that. It's going to load up the task list. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose um, the Hiwa Academy task list. So as you can see, there's prepared drawings. Okay. So I can then add maybe prepare course sections. Okay. Prepare course sections. Okay. So you can set up a number of things. Now here you have a timer. You can increase the timer by a given amount of minutes to show you the amount of breaks you have. You can click skip breaks. But now what we're going to do is we're going to just um, say, let's say we have a 30 minute session. We think we will be able to prepare maybe the cross sections in 30 minutes. This shows our daily goal. This shows yesterday. And now the first time you launch this app is there will be click connect Spotify. And all you have to do is just enter your logins and everything. So all you have to do is once you've entered your logins, the Spotify app will come up. So all you have to do is select three things. For example, I want the Spotify to play when I'm doing this. So when I'm preparing my cross sections, you're going to select the task you want to do. I've, I've really didn't name this well. So let me just prepare cross sections. Okay. So select, select that select the playlist you want to listen to. For example, in this case, I want to listen to happy hits and then you start your focus session. And then what will happen is um, automatically uh, focus sessions will launch up Spotify and start playing the kind of music you really love. Okay. So as you can see, it has already started playing the kind of music I, I like. Okay. So once that is done, now you can go back to Civil 3D and then you can start doing everything that you want to do. So for example, um, let's do 2022 Civil 3D. So now you can go in Civil 3D, launch up, and then you have a focus session. So you'll be notified when this is done. So when you're done with the task, you can tick it and tick it. I feel this is really important for people who love to if you really love your focus and your productivity and you love listening to music and you have Spotify. So hopefully the APN will be available to maybe other developers like Apple Music, um, any of the other music streaming services that you love. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Try this out in Windows 11. Trust me, you will love this. I currently am using this all the time in terms of what I'm doing. I lay it out, uh, start the Spotify playlist and then I roll it out. Uh, thank you so much.